Why is real-time bidding a vital approach for today's marketers? And what are the three biggest challenges advertisers encounter? And how do you how do you guys help fix them? So one of the largest ones, I think. Well, let, let, me, let me begin with um, first of all saying, I think that the benefits and the obstacles are pretty much aligned for both advertisers and publishers in RTB right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the biggest issues is definitely transparency. Uh, so the transparency that uh, the advertisers face is obviously uh, needing to ensure that they're ending up on uh, the right inventory, that it's brand safe. Um, and for the publishers as well, they like to see the transparency as far as the advertisers go. So see what campaigns are coming through. Uh, there's obviously always issues with uh, sales circumvention and cannibalism. Uh, so publishers are sometimes worried that um, a campaign that might have been running directly previously is now being bought via RTB at a lower rate, right? right? Um, so that's something that advertise or publishers are very aware of. Um, and so that kind of transparency helps uh, ensure that they can give the right exposure, right? Mm -hmm. um, so transparency is really one of the big obstacles uh, in the market. Um, now, some publishers don't expose their inventory uh, because of the circumvention issues that they see. Um, and then some people, they just, because of technological limitations, can't expose their inventory because the two platforms uh, aren't speaking to each other mm. uh, correctly. Is, is there any value on the below the fold anymore when it comes to impressions or when it comes to that ad space? What's your take on that? Well, below the fold, it really comes down to viewability. And that's kind of the, I guess, the appeal of it mm -hmm. is that, of course, the inventory is appealing if it is viewed, right? So the position of it, obviously you're going to have a higher propensity of the uh, ad unit being viewed if it's above the fold, mm -hmm. um, but it, being below the fold doesn't entirely uh, remove it from the possibility of it being viewed or clicked on or actioned, right? People uh, scroll, you know? People scroll, exactly. Well, you hope you have the content that will engage the customer to scroll down to the, all the ad units, right? Yep. Um, but yes, I, th I think it will get rid of some of the players in the industry that are throwing ads all over the place and not really caring that it's at the bottom of page, nowhere near any sort of content. Uh, it really makes these people, these publishers have to rethink their strategies on that, on that front. So I think it's it's going to clean up the space a lot. Yeah, I'm always surprised when I see an ad at the very bottom of the page. I'm like, who's who's scrolling down Exactly. There? Especially when it's not close to any kind of content. I think yeah, it's, there's uh, like a huge white gap between yeah. it. I'm like, what, yeah. what are you doing? You know? Exactly.